Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to farm in the game of 7 Days to Die on the PS4. So yeah, I had to learn the hard way. Um, I did find some old videos on YouTube uh, showing me how to farm. Basically, they wanted me to put some wood around it and the water and all that. Uh, for the PS4, uh, you don't have to do any of that. And maybe not even for the PC anymore. Uh, those videos, like I said, those were some old videos about like a year or two years old. And... Uh, but yeah, I'm going to show you that you can plant uh, both ways, without the water and without every, uh, you know, the, the, the wood and all that. Um, I guess you can just do the other way if you want to, you know, make it more organized. But the first thing you got to do, whether you're, you know, doing potatoes, blueberries or whatever, you have to, uh, you know, exchange them uh, or change the potato into uh, potato seeds so you can actually plant. I only had one potato. And uh, I tried to plant the potato by itself and it didn't plant anything. What I ended up doing was losing the potato because I ate it, uh, you know, by pressing L2. Uh, but the first thing you got to do, though, when you want to farm, you have to, you know, work the land just like I'm doing now. And if you don't have a forge, then you're not going to be able to farm because you need this. Uh, you need the tool. Uh, it's like a hole. Uh, it's what I'm using right now. You press L2 and uh, it, it will give you the option to work the, the land. So that's exactly what I'm doing right now. And while I'm doing this, also the uh, the potato seeds are being, or, or the potatoes are being converted from potatoes to potato uh, seeds. Uh, so I'm going to do one big line just like this. And it usually takes about two to three days to be fully grown. One potato will give you three and uh, it, yeah, it will just keep on multiplying. And uh, once you, uh, you know, once you uh, farm, then uh, you, you can just go ahead and you don't have to work the land again. You can just go ahead and just convert the potatoes uh, once more to seeds and you can plant them. So, okay, now I'm planting. As you can see here, you have to get that little, uh, th that, that little square that gives you the option to plant with the L2. And you don't, like I said, you don't have to put water. Uh, you know, some of the videos, those older videos that I found, they all like were teaching me to basically, you know, uh, do what I did right there, which I'll, sh I'll show you. I mean, it's it's a good, I guess if you're trying to organize it, if you don't want grass to be uh, growing everywhere, then that's a good way to do it, to do that uh, yourself. But if you're not, if you're just trying to farm as quickly as possible and you don't care if it's organized or not, like I am right now, well, that's another thing you got to be careful. Like if you only have a couple of seeds, try not to waste them. Because, uh, yeah, try not to farm on the edges. Because <laughs> those seeds, uh, will you will lose the seeds. And, yeah, if, if you just, like, found the only potato in the whole world, you will not be too happy if you end up losing the seeds. So make sure that you have enough land that you're not planting on the edges. Because uh, that will happen. Um, okay, so, like I was saying, this is... Uh, I'm pretty much just planted everything here, some corn, uh, coffee beans. If you want me to show you a, uh, a video on coffee, this is very, very cool. Um, you can like run forever. But uh, yeah, I guess I'll make a video and talk a little bit more about that. And as you can see, you, I, you know, I am farming without water. On this other side where the wood is at, uh, I ended up dividing, uh, you know, the crops with wood and like in the middle. Uh, there's water right here. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, I did put water with the bucket. It's just, I guess it's a little bit more of a hassle, uh, but I guess it just depends on who you're asking, but it kind of looks a little bit more uh, organized, I guess you can say. It looks a little, you know, a little bit more cleaner, but I, I prefer this other way, the, the way without the wood and the water. I think it's uh, it's way better, and like I said, it takes about three days for, for all the crops to grow, and um, yeah. Uh, you know, I hope this video, uh, you know, helps you on farming because I think that farming is one of the most important things in seven days to die to be able to survive, make yourself some coffee, some tea, and pretty much everything else. All right, guys, that's going to be it for now. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and drop a like. Uh, Till next time, peace.